Hey people, Aman here. In this video, we shall be talking about cloud computers and what is a cloud computer and how to get one. Okay, so cloud computers are the computers which are in cloud. That's it. No, I'm not kidding. Actually, uh, cloud is basically a big server farm uh, owned by Google or Amazon or Linode. Or there are lots and lots of players in the cloud computing market. But a cloud computer is basically a computer that resides on a server. Now there are advantages to using a cloud computer. You can get like unlimited bandwidth, like one gigabytes of speed. That's a lot. What cloud computer can be accessed through almost every single device. Now you might say, Aman, why do I need a cloud computer? I have my own laptop or I have my own desktop PC at home. Well, Yes, you are correct. You have your own laptop or PC. But the thing is, you cannot access your laptop from anywhere in the world. You cannot access your desktop from anywhere in the world. What if uh, there's a power cut at your home and you are somewhere else and you need files? You already use cloud computing in your daily life. Uh, you use uh, Google Drive, don't you? So Google Drive or OneDrive or any of the uh, you know different drives online that you use that is technically cloud computing so like you can uh, keep your files on the google drive you can access them later through your phone if you upload through the laptop you can still access through the phone and all that stuff that's basically cloud computing so let's get started and let's make up a virtual machine online on the cloud uh, what's a virtual machine it's just a uh, you know ubuntu instance on the cloud you can do a bunch of stuff you can make uh, like whatever you can do on your laptop you can do on the cloud computer okay let's just start and uh, for starting you need to go to this website console.cloud.google.com or even if you do a google search saying console.cloud you will get here guaranteed now how do you start okay so when you uh, put this uh, url you get to this page and there is an activate button so your free trial is waiting activate now to get 300 credits to explore blah blah okay let's do that let's activate so when you click activate you have to sign up for a few things so you will uh, click ok and then you will give them your uh, information which i'm not gonna do i've already signed up for all of this now you might need a debit card or a credit card uh, so you just input your uh, business name uh, you can uh, put anything you want you can even put your own name you put your address line city postal code and all that stuff and uh, you put payment methods you put your card in and uh, this is where you put your card in i'm not gonna put my credit card number on online obviously but that is what you do and then you click next and then you pay like one rupee charge which is quite frankly nothing if you see it so that's what you do. Uh, also, you might need an Access or a Kotak or an ICICI Bank uh, debit card for this. And it's just temporary. You don't get charged anything. So that's what you do. Uh, you set up all that stuff and then you are greeted on this uh, new page. I'll show you. Now, after you are done with your uh, billing and all that stuff, you close that, you can close that tab and open up a new tab and just go to this link, console.cloud.google.com, the same link. And uh, now your interface might look a bit different because I'm uh, back to my original account and I already have the debit card set up on here. So whatever it is, you just find an option that says uh, new project. Okay, that's all you need to do. Uh, if you face any difficulties feel free to ask me and i'll be more than happy to help so this is uh, what my dashboard looks like and now we'll be creating a new project and uh, i'll just name the new project anything uh, i mean it already gives you a project name but we can uh, do better we'll just say uh, vpn service now why am i naming it vpn service 2 uh, that's I'm not gonna explain that and once again whatever you name your project name right now you cannot change your project name so make sure you name it uh, something or whatever you want okay now we'll create this project it might take a while to create a new project and we'll wait oh it's done okay 
uh, we'll jump to that project. We, you can actually select projects uh, from here, uh, from the arrow key, and that's all. Now, what you're gonna do is, now if you have your entire billing and all that uh, sorted out, you can just uh, go to the navigation menu, and you can go to the app engine, or actually, sorry, the compute engine, and then you can go for VM instances, okay? Now, don't worry, you won't get any uh, billing charges or anything from Google. It won't even uh, cut money without asking you, so that's okay. Oh uh, yes, you have to enable billing right now. Uh, set the billing account for project two. Yes, sure. Oops. Okay, so you might be able to do that, but I won't be able to do, so that's completely fine. I'll just uh, go to my other computer my other project and uh, you know i'm i should have made a script for this okay so when you go to the navigation menu and computer engine and vm instances you might have a page which looks uh, like almost like this and you go to uh, click create instance and that will take you to a page and it will ask you what do you want to name the computer you can name it whatever you want and my laptop is really slow. You can just keep uh, instance one if that's what you want, but that's fine. Uh, you can change the re region. I will select Los Angeles and uh, make sure you go for the F1 micro. That's a shared computer core and make sure you also enable HTTP and HTTPS traffic and change the image. Now we're gonna go for Ubuntu. Uh, once again, if none of this is making sense for you, that's completely fine. Just copy what I'm doing, okay? Go for the Ubuntu 20.04 long-term version. Uh, select and create. So it should create up a new computer online. And that might take a few seconds. Let's see. okay so it's done now there is an ssh button here right here click on that ssh button and obviously for the entire tutorial you will need a laptop or a computer to access all this stuff this won't be done on phone so i'm sorry for that uh connect without and that's okay i'm getting a lot of errors today while recording so it's just trying to connect to the computer and here we are this is our computer and i don't know if you could increase the font size text size is large okay this that's too big uh text size medium okay this seems fine and uh, we'll make sure to yeah okay this makes sense okay so this is your uh, terminal for the new computer and as you can see it does not have anything uh, you could make up a directory saying stuff and it just made a directory it's stuff here now if you don't know the ubuntu commands that's still fine uh, you will change directory into stuff and uh, you could create up a new file nano hi.txt hello this is a new file whatever and you could just yeah so now you can see the file that we created and yeah hello this is a new file so this is basically your computer now you first have to obviously update it so you type sudo apt update and it might take a few seconds to get all the updates uh, it's usually updated it's like a update all button on the play store on your phone it's kind of similar to this and now we'll type sudo apt upgrade i should also do a tutorial on how to handle open to and so now it's installing all the updates sure okay so after this we are getting a tool known as speed test now you might have heard of uh, okla speed test it's a website which uh, measures your speed of internet so let's see what's the internet speed and why is it beneficial to use uh, like an online computer so let's download sudo apt install 
this period of time speed test dot cli now it should install that quickly okay it's done now we just run speed test dot uh, hyphen cli and just look at the speeds that you will get i'm not kidding you you might get 500 mbps and that's like the highest speeds so it's testing the download speed it's 451 megabits per second and the upload speed is 810 megabits per second if you were to download a movie with the speed an hd blu-ray movie it would only take like two to three seconds like my laptop copy speed is slower than this so this is why you use a cloud computer and in the next video i'll teach you how to make your own vpn on the server so you might heard about uh, uh, node vpn and other surfshark vpn and other types of uh, vpn clients but you cannot trust them and they actually ask uh, for money from you so we'll talk about this in the next video but that's it. this is just like the trailer for the next video and uh, yeah that's it make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you have any questions uh, ask me down in the comment below i'll be more than happy to help thank you